Let's do a little more with our text frame, our paragraph text frame. Now this paragraph text frame came in automatically when we placed our text from our text file. Of course, it also gave us additional pages and additional text frames. Very useful if you're just placing text. But let's say you wanted to put in some text to begin with, and you want to use it as a layout on your page, but you don't want to be bringing in any existing text yet. There's a few things that you can do. First, let's go down here to the very end, page 6. Let's click on our button right here and create a new page. There we go, page 7. So I'll make a new paragraph text frame here. Click on our text tool. Just drag like that. It makes a paragraph text frame. Now, if you don't have any text in here yet, but you want to have something to work with, if you're doing a layout, you can do that easily enough. And you can work with your text frame up here under the text menu, of course, right here, paragraph text frame. You can show or hide your text frames. So there's a hidden text frame. And then that's show our text frame. There's a shown text frame. I'll click back inside of this again so you can show or hide your text frame. We can fit text to a frame. If you have some text in there, you can stretch it out to fit the frame. What I want to show here, though, is that you can place in placeholder text just off screen, but it says placeholder text on there. I'll click on that. And it's then going to fill this frame with a whole bunch of fake text. Now ignore the underlines. Those are misspelled words. If it's fake text, obviously there'd be a lot of misspelled words, a lot of things that aren't in the dictionary. So you know you, you can create your your text frame like this, and then you can also come in and then fill that text frame with some fake text, placeholder text, and then you can use this for layout. Let's say I wanted to have a graphic up here. Didn't know what text I wanted to have. Get maybe I have a big logo. I want to stick up in this area here. So my big logo is right there. Possibly I want to have that logo. I had the text wrapping around the logo. There's my text wrap around my logo. So you can come in and begin to arrange and do your layout even without having your finished text. And maybe I want to have the text a little bit larger, maybe you know, it's a little more like this, and the text size is wrong. Right now we're looking at 12 point text, maybe click a couple of times and then let's make this bit here 16 point text. And then I'll delete some of this bottom stuff here. There we go. Maybe a little larger on that. 18 point text. So I can begin to see kind of the amount of space I'll be using if I come in here with different type sizes. And I can begin you know, working with my layout. Maybe another text block down below there for an additional look. So you can, as you can see here, work with your text frames even before you actually have anything to fit inside of your text, before you have your text. If I pull this up like this, I now have some text that is no longer fitting. There's additional text down below here. Let's do something else. I'm going to come in here. I'll put in a, another text, text box with your little paragraph box right there. So I have my extra text. Let's go up to text and paragraph text. So we have link and unlink down here as well. I'm going to click on this and then hold the shift key down and click on that. That brings these two boxes together. And then let's link those boxes together. There we go. It's breaking right at a paragraph break in there. But I can flow text from one box to the next. That's kind of what's happening here with our story. The text is automatically flowing from one box to the next on the different pages. So there you go. A little more then about working with your paragraph text frames. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. 
feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.